Welcome to Mindful Mutiny. Men, there are a few things that you need to immediately start doing in order to increase your overall life. Listen up. Your life is worth developing. And if you do a few things in your day, you're going to feel better and you're going to be doing better in your life. And people are going to notice. Number one, like people say, make your bed, clean your room, do these things because it creates that space right at the beginning of your day where you are starting your day in a productive way. Does it sound like a little thing? It might feel like a little thing, but that little bit gives you the confidence that you need just going into just making breakfast and getting moving. That one little thing gives you the confidence that you need to move forward into the next stages of your day. It's just an amazing little thing that doesn't seem like it's a big deal, but it kind of is. Do a morning routine for your mind and body. If you can, get out there, do a little bit of exercise, do something that's mindfulness-based. You don't have to be a Tibetan monk sitting on top of a hill somewhere. You can listen to a song that you just love that makes you feel happy, that gives you a little bit of juice at the beginning of your day. It's going to be better for you. It's going to be better for your anxiety, better for your overall health if you take a little bit of unplugged time at the beginning of the day. Get regular physical activity every single day at one point. I have a rowing machine sitting right next to my desk here and I try to get on it every single day. It's very important. I feel so much stronger, so much better, so much more refreshed after I'm off of my 10, 15, 20 minutes on a rower. It's a really important thing for me to just do in a day. Be mindful about how much you're using technology. We can all get sucked into our devices and it's generally one of the main complaints that I hear out of wives is that their husbands are on their phones way too much. Guys, it's entertaining. It's fun. There's a lot of content. And we've got families. We've got people around us that need our attention, that need us to be paying attention to them and their wellness and everything like that. And we've got to pay attention to our own wellness too. Put your phones down for periods of time during the day. This is also a really important one. Your skills, your learning development, your skill development. Do something where you're investing in yourself. At any time in your life, you need to be doing things that are giving you the baseline learning for the next step in your life. It is an incredible place to be when something ends in your life, a job ends, something big ends, and you've got an option. You've got something that you know how to do. You've got a next skill that's marketable where you can go somewhere. If you are not in a space right now where you are developing a skill set that is making something that you have better, or developing a completely new skill set, get into something, get into some kind of coaching, get into some kind of schooling, some trade school, some something where you are developing a new skill. We never know when something's going to happen with our profession, with our career, with a law or something that's going to make us have to pivot. And boy, when that day comes and you've got something that is great that you have as a skill, as a certification to fall back on, that is strength. Start developing yourself and investing in yourself. Have a reflective evening routine. For some people, it's eating with your family. For some people, it's listening to some music. For some people, it's an evening drive. For some people, it may just be meeting up with some friends at a coffee shop or at a brewery or something like that, where there's an evening of spending time that plugs you out of where you've been during the day so that you can refresh and you can engage with the important people in your family. It's very important to do this. If you incorporate more of these positive skills into your life, develop yourself, limit your use of frivolous technology and social media, and have some time of reflection in the evening time, you're going to immediately see more effective use of your time and a better mindset. My name is Jeremy Van Wert, CEO of High Altitude Mindset. Now go be something great.